Chapter 2. Forgotten unto Forbidden Individuality. America was the new world for the first settlers, so they sacrificed and relocated from former countries to the Western Hemisphere to pursue independence and personal freedom. They weren't sure what to expect, but since they lacked freedom in their former countries, it had to be a unique form of society to form a prosperous government. Since the 1500s unto now individualism has meant indivisible, any singular person or object in a collection, comparative to the usage of individual in metaphysics and statistics. And in general, individual does indicate a separation from the original collection. John Locke, a father of classical liberalism, embraced self-identity and individualism as a way of life. Liberalism is the quality or state of being liberal, as in attitude or behavior. Liberation support opened doors for equal rights and better economic opportunities for the supported group. Locke influenced American revolutionaries to adopt his ideologies of declaration and independence. The Public Act by which the Second Continental Congress, on July 4, 1776, declared the colonies to be free and independent of England. In which the Declaration of Independence was established. This set the tone for Americans to pursue personal economic achievements as a culture within communities. In the 1830s is when individualism first became a pejorative, having a belittling effect with force. Imposing inferiority and superiority complexes, while not caring about concerns or interests of the person the word meaning impacted, and bias against the person or persons who didn't adhere to the supporting propaganda. Socialist has said without individuality, individuals cannot assemble property to increase one's happiness. Carl Jung said individuation is the process of unconsciousness transforming into consciousness, through free association of dreams and active imagination to be manifested into the characteristic personality. In a sense that, it is a central and natural process of human development that is necessary to be in harmony with the environment. Gilbert Simondon's theory of individuation, the individual subject is an effect rather than a cause. In a sense that individuation is an ongoing process of separate aspects of the person's characteristic personality. Other socialists said individualism is to have true beauty and health and to avoid wasting his or her life in the accumulating or symbolization of things. Western philosophers said liberalism is freedom, worthy of a free man or gentleman who is courteous and generous, and it is the belief and importance of individual freedom. John N. Gray said the essence of liberalism is permitted by law or government of different beliefs and ideas as to what constitutes living a good life. The U.S. culture is a stage of civilization, that reveals how this nation develops and improves the mind in certain areas of human life. While any culture is considered a universal identity surrounding sacrificial education, arts and entertainment, ambitions, family and friends, health, relationships, science, etc. Generally, those are shared values of all Americans, just as proper usage of individualism is of common interest. Individuality enables self-reliance because the person isn't easily distracted from personal freedom or interest. The mental and physical position reveals a person's idea of self-worth. Self-worth is a sense of one's own beliefs, desires, goals, and values but all of which can enable esteem and respect for self and others. Self-worth can make a person desire to fulfill independence from one's family structure after reaching the early adult stages. The fact is exceptionalism is a link to all aspects of the U.S. culture, which makes it a great country to start a business, buy a home, and raise kids. Here you are encouraged to study to show approval, so fame and wealth do have to be achieved with determination, goal setting, and hard work regardless of what is perceived in any of this book's discussions. Controversy surrounding individualism. Most wealthy people fully believe, if you cannot afford to live outside your comfort zone, you ought not to even be allowed to utilize individualism. Most of them fear that individualism can be considered, as a form of submission to one's entitlements, instead of the preferred freedom and independence. As a result, asserting one's uniqueness as a subordinate doesn't get expressed in the first person, only in the second and third person. Human rights are transforming into a dictatorship, that appears to be designed only for the wealthy. While some wealthy people do acquire fame and fortune through business ventures, determination of hard work, inheritance, others are senseless and don't have a rational thought in them. Senseless wealthy people tend to mask their natural assertion, imposing lawless tactics with inferiority and superiority propaganda. You hear this immensely in politicians' speeches, using the tongue as a weapon against their possible supporters when all Americans ought to be rationally thinking about significant ways we'll get the country out of debt. Being a part of society, we must forgive and work together to meet on common grounds. While America may appear to be forming into an all-communist country, nowadays that isn't true. I will give full details about what it means to live communist, and then further explain why the communist order isn't the only current issue. Communist is considered the economic ideology, movement, philosophical, political, and social establishment of the communist society of which is a socio-economical order, structured upon the common ownership of the means of production, and supposedly with the absence of money, social classes, and the state. All of which share statistical analysis, in a sense the current order of society stems from its economic system, capitalism. In this system, 
there are considered to be two major social classes, that conflict between two classes, and are the root of all issues in society. And this situation is supposed to be resolved through a social revolution. Communist countries around the world includes China, People's Republic of China, Cuba, Republic of Cuba, Laos, Lao People's Democratic Republic, North Korea, DPRK, Democratic People's Republic of Korea, Vietnam, Socialist Republic of Vietnam, countries with ruling communist parties, and socialist countries. The PUSA is a well-communist party in the US that was established in 1919, of which has declined due to events such as the Second Red Scare and the influence of McCarthyism, but it still does support the Soviet Union. However, in 1963, the House of Representatives and Senate reviewed a document, entitled Communist Goals for Taking Over America. 45 separate issues included schemes of attacks and techniques. Over the last 55 years since the list was introduced in the House, there have been changes that occurred. The Soviet Union dissolved in 1991, which existed from 1922 to 1991 and was located in Eastern Europe and Northern Central Asia. Those countries were the last members of the Soviet Union's constituent republics to declare independence. Communism isn't mentioned anymore by the controlled MSM. Because the founders of communism, world Zionism, is now the dominant force in the Western world and controls every major cultural, commercial, geopolitical, and social aspect of all Americans' existence. About 27 of the 45 communist, Zionist, goals on the list have been achieved, and history has retired the other 18. In general, world Zionism created communism, took down Russia, set up the Soviet Union, and created world wars of which 100 million or more died. Associated Sources, Anarchism, Bolshevism, Communism, Marxism, and World Zionism. List of the original 27 attacks and techniques. 4. Permit free trade between all nations, regardless of communist affiliation and whether or not items could be used for war. 11. Promote the UN as mankind's only hope. 13. Do away with all oaths of loyalty. 15. Capture the United States political parties. 16. Weaken basic American institutions, by claiming their activities violate civil rights, using technical decisions of the courts. 17. Control teachers' associations and schools, soften the curriculum, put party lines in textbooks, and use them as transmission belts for socialism and current communist propaganda. 18. Control all student newspapers. 19. Use student riots to foment public protests against organizations or programs which are under communist attack. 20. Infiltrate the press, control book review assignments, editorial writings, and policy-making positions. 21. Control key positions in motion pictures, radio, and TV. 22. Discredit the American culture by degrading all forms of artistic expression. Eliminate all good sculpture from buildings and parks, substitute awkward, meaningless, and shapeless forms. 23. Control art critics and directors of art museums. The plan was to promote meaningless, repulsive, and ugly art. 24. Eliminate all laws governing obscenity by calling them censorship and a violation of free press and speech. 25. Break down cultural standards of morality by promoting pornography and obscenity in books, magazines, motion pictures, radio, and TV. 26. Present degeneracy, homosexuality, and promiscuity as healthy, natural and normal. 27. Discredit the Bible and emphasize a need for intellectual maturity, because it doesn't need a religious crutch. 28. Eliminate prayer and religious expression on school grounds, saying that it violates the principle of separation from church and state. 29. Discredit the American Constitution by calling it inadequate, old-fashioned, unmodern, and a hindrance for cooperation between nations on a worldwide basis. 30. Discredit the American Founding Fathers, by presenting them as selfish aristocrats who had no concern for the common man. 31. Belittle the American culture and discourage teachings of American history, saying that it was a minor part of the big picture. Put more emphasis on Russian history, since the communists took over. 32. Support the socialist movement to give centralized control over the cultures, education, mental health clinics, social agencies, welfare programs, etc. 37. Control and infiltrate big business. 38. Transfer some arrests from the police to social agencies, and treat behavioral problems as psychiatric disorders so that no one but psychiatrists can understand or treat them. 39. Dominate the psychiatric profession, and use mental health laws as a means of gaining coercive control over those who oppose communist goals. 40. Discredit the family as an institution, and encourage easy divorce and promiscuity. 41. Emphasize a need to raise children away from the negative influence of parents. Attribute mental blocks, prejudices, and retarding of children to suppressive influence of parents. 42. Create the impression that insurrection and violence are legitimate aspects of the American tradition, whereas special interest groups and students rise and use united force to solve economic, political, and social problems. 
Other techniques. 46. Import anti-white racists from the third world, via an open borders policy, then force their integration to conquer and divide white western civilization in North America. 47. Feminize men, disarm both the citizenry and military, especially white males. Since all of these revolutionary communist issues have long been implemented, their goal now is to continue attacks and techniques. These come from the original list, and it doesn't include the ones that were added thereafter. The PUSA was influential in American politics in the first half of the 20th century, which has played and still plays a role in the labor movement. It is somewhat known for opposing racism and racial segregation. According to the party's constitution that was adopted at the 30th National Convention in 2014, the Communist Party now operates under the principles of democratic centralism. Their ideology constitution program struggles to negotiate unity for the working class, discrimination, national chauvinism and oppression, racism ideology and practices, and segregation. Also, discrimination against bisexuals, gays, lesbians, and transgender people, and some of which supposes to be non-negotiable. If the democratic centralism wants to change, they ought not to support the original 27 plans of attacks and techniques. Because some of the attacks and techniques contradict the overall goal for negotiable agreements. Such as discrediting the American founding fathers and the family as an institution, hasn't helped women and kids want to honor the biological family structure. Of which has only formed into utmost disrespect for males in general. Discrediting the American Constitution and the Bible hasn't formed forgiveness and unity, even though, the Bible is unmodern. Promoting pornography and obscenity in books, magazines, motion pictures, radio, and TV hasn't shown ethical values. And encouraging easy divorce and promiscuity hasn't formed a firm foundation for youth without ethical values. Since it has been confirmed that youth need a healthy environment in which they live to eliminate most mental disorders, parents need support for long-term marriage by all means. Back to the discussion, in communist states dictators of the collectivist society do not permit individuals to think freely, and all must subordinate themselves to the state. In general class, race, or state doesn't matter, when making each individual a part of a group. In which their sole purpose is to serve the group's needs, without a life of his or her own. The dictators of the collectivist society rather distort any realization of individuality and replace it with the self-sacrificial mentality to symbolize a whole humanitarian body. Even though helping others help themselves will support the group, the people helping usually will not get the acknowledgement of being humanitarian, and basically, the dictators do. Humanitarianism consists of having concern for, or helping to improve the happiness and welfare of others. Eliminating all aspects of a personal life that would normally involve independence. Since those states collectively don't support individuality, anything singular is considered of the imagination and unreal, no person is ever expected to be outstanding or unique. Therefore, human beings are interchangeable parts of the group's whole. A few of those communist states even went as far as to forbid friends and romantic relationships. Those states have formed cruel control over thoughts, and it is the mass destruction against individualism. In those states you can't even use the word I, it is replaced with the word we. And for those reasons, a lot of Americans may not mind embodying a humanitarian mentality as long as they can get credit. But no one wants to become an all-communist country. Individualism involves individual rights to freedom and self-realization, and most times discrimination of human rights is excluded when propaganda becomes the supporting factor. The sense of a community with sacrificial social actions and rights has been replaced with an every man and woman for themselves mentality. Complexities generosity and values contradict individualism for triumphalism. Some people get greedy and being narcissistic twisted with having individuality, others get having marriage values twisted with the only group of people that are worthy of going to heaven. The controversy surrounds individuality is due to acquiring excessive wealth and being stuck on oneself without acknowledging empathy for others. And being dogmatic, egotistic, and self-centered about marriage vows. This is how many people are turning a blind eye to others' hardships. While both marriage and wealth are good aspects of life, no one ought to go out of their way to hinder people who struggle to meet the demands. According to socialist theories, it can help any human benefit long term. Individualism is an entitlement, just as it is preferred freedom and independence. The argument over whether individualism may or may not be an entitlement needs to be replaced with logical understanding for all classes and groups, with any type of financial support. The people that feel indifferent haven't experienced individualism in their lifetime are due to some fairness of achieving full development, growth, and potential with longevity for devotion to the public. Those people do individual freedom and rights. The communist list does explain a lot of distortion to the ethical values of Americans, and once you know their attacks and techniques, it is up to you as an individual to want change and act upon it. Again, being a part of society, we must forgive and work together to meet on common grounds. Still, it is possible to control one's actions and respect the human laws and rights of others. The ideology of individualism is about social action and rights, things that a culture supports. Certain abilities normal people desire and needs. 1. 
to be worthy of the church's guidance. 2. To be influenced by the teachings of Jesus Christ. 3. To dress appropriately when attending church. 4. To allow Bible ethics to be the central focus. 5. To be influenced by music that will build up the human body. 6. To allow a pure heart with speech to manifest within themselves. 7. To have personality gender issues to be in focus. 8. To build a marriage situation that is in order with ethical values, of which they can raise their kids. 9. To avoid the influence of being tempted to lie or steal. 10. To avoid argumentative personality traits. 11. To overcome a history of abuse. 12. To avoid influences, such as alcohol, illegal drugs, pornography, and sex outside of marriage. 13. To avoid criminal behavior of any kind. Why do people get this way? They are immature and needing guidance, but often we tend to give up on these types of people. Although, Treating behavioral problems as psychiatric disorders so that no one but psychiatrists can understand or treat, appears to be one of the attacks or techniques on the original communist list. Psychiatrists are thoroughly trained with the proper education, so we don't need to discredit their understandings despite any of this book's discussions. Individualism has too lost realism due to everyday people either don't know what individuality consists of or don't care. Nowadays people, in general, are distorting their individualism. One common aspect is when someone forgets to present a scene, that explains how the magic takes place, and then presents a display of themselves as the scene. This happens all too often, especially with writers. If you present a display of yourself cleaning the house, this is what the audience will expect the overall presentation, is going to be about. You don't miss the opportunity to show the universe what creative developments, and improvements of the mind you have acquired over time. It appears that people are being fake with their presentations. Either way, this reveals inferior and superior complexes, senselessness, and other personality disorders. We favor keeping it 100, when in fact our comparative traits are similar to the criminally insane. While extra opinions and thoughts are common traits of opinionated people. The everyday people who are opinionated, some are overly authoritarian parents. It is well known overly authoritarian parents are imposing ancestral dogmatic ways upon the new generation. Due to not changing the cycles of abuse and vainness that got passed down. Of whom usually advocates dominance over subordinates with absolute terror surrounding obedience all while, opposing support for individuality. Often all they want is for their kids to follow traditions. But sometimes according to the person's education and social status, the traditions are considered unbearable to live by. This is when their dogmatic tactics become overwhelming making the person unstable. If you don't know how to identify with a superego controlling a weak ego, you probably will self-destruct before reaching maturity. And more than likely be cast out of the home. This is forcing the sword upon kids already suffering through calamity. Experiencing trauma as a child doesn't make someone a criminal, but it does increase vulnerability.